kitty. She's chilling with us. She's doing her hard work cleaning herself. Guys, speaking of cleaning, before we get into low dose, nal low dose naltrexone, which is very interesting. I remember years ago, my grandmother, I was talking to her on the phone and she was saying how you gotta look up low dose naltrexone. And I'm just starting to, I'm a little obsessed about it. It's very interesting. A few notes about silk. From last week, we were having a discussion. I feel like I didn't quite defend Silk. Hey, Rachel! How you doing? I was just doing quick defense of Silk, which I don't think I did well enough last year, last year, last week. Odose naltrexone? Okay, you gotta Google it. But let me just finish this thought real quick. That Silk isn't really a cheapy, it's not a cheapy, cheap cleanser. It doesn't have fractionated coconut oil. Uh-oh, another wind's in my eye. It doesn't have cheap oils. It's high quality oils and high quality vegetable collagen. And so cleansers like this that are on the market are twice as much. There's certainly cheaper cleansers out there. And there's plenty of them. Like the Green Clean, you know, that uses more filler oils. And so uh, those, there's plenty of brands out there like that, so I don't need to make another one. That's my point, that this one is super high quality oils, and that's why it is the price point that it is. Low dose naltrexone is the main thing I wanna talk about, but I just feel like I have to defend silk a little bit better. I was like, eh, don't, don't, don't buy silk, which is true. Silk is amazing, but it is not the cheapest cleanser you can get. Low dose naltrexone, has anyone heard about this? Now it is a, it's been around for years. Hi, Jolie. Have you heard of low dose naltrexone? Oh my goodness. I'm a little obsessed with it. I'm on all these, I'm reading about it on Reddit. And if you guys Google it, I think I spelled it right. Even if you just put LDN, it's worth it. You only need a little, yes. Okay, so it's interesting. You, you go really low. And I remember my grandmother, for some reason, was all into it. My grandma was very weird and into weird health stuff. So originally, it's weird how it works. It works like no other drug because what it does is blocks, it makes your endorphins in your body, it makes your body create more endorphins endogenously. I think I'm saying that right, where it's in your body and rather than you taking them, I'm oh, sorry, that's not what I have on. Rachel, you gotta Google it, or even just search on on uh, YouTube. Something to my eyeball, just mere mascara. So originally, it's been around for so long that there's no real huge studies because it's a orphan drug, meaning that you there's drug companies can't make a bunch of money out of it because it's it's not claimed. You know how you can have generic brands after a drug company has lost its lease on it, I guess, or or patent. I think I'm saying that right. So it, no one can make a bunch of money off of it, but it is very interesting. And it's kind of by accident that people have found it's, it's great benefit for autoimmune issues, inflammation. It really helps your body with inflammation. People use it in adjunct cancer treatments, uh, all sorts of mood, everything. I'm finding out about it for fertility because a lot of people with autoimmune issues, it's helping people with you know, in various fertility groups I'm in that have autoimmune stuff that they might already know about, like even endometriosis or, you know, more serious autoimmune issues or even thyroid autoimmune issues. Oh God, really. Go down that rabbit hole if you want. <laughs> oh, it's fucking a lot of a tiny amount of grapefruit juice, tiny, okay. So anyways, this helps thousands of patients with pain relief, chronic pain, loads of medical conditions. Like, it's amazing. It's like, maybe just try it. It's kind of like tapping. I'm really into tapping too. Like, just try it if you have anything. But if you, any of you guys, yes. So this is interesting, Rachel, because it's it's a tiny, tiny amount. I mean, I, I feel you too. Like, I was like, my foreman, oh, has all these anti-aging effects. But maybe you just do berberine. But this one you take in such a low dose 
um, like you can just you can do a tiny, tiny, teeny, tiny amount, almost diluted, like homeopathically. And it what it does is you take a little bit at night, and it it blocks your endorphin receptors for a moment, which is why I understand, Rachel. I completely understand. Um, well, what it was originally approved for, like in the 80s or 70s, I'm not sure, was for opioid addiction. Because what it does is it blocks opioid receptors in your brain or your brain, you know, there's some sort of blocking. So you couldn't get, I guess, the high, your body, you would actually, people who are on opioids, opiates or whatever, are not supposed to take this because then they'll go through withdrawals, you know, if they are not just taking it recreationally, but also going like, you know, I'm sure people take it for real issues, probably. But anyways, that's a whole other issue. So this was originally used for that. And then I think in the 80s, during the AIDS epidemic, there was um, a doctor who was using it a lot, thinking that it might help with AIDS patients. And amazingly, it does really help your body. It basically helps your body optimize its immune system whether it's working too hard or too not hard enough, it optimizes it. It's like an adaptogenic drug, but it works by, in a very elegant way, I was looking at another YouTube, it was a very long, complicated, um, this Indian doctor was explaining the mechanism. So you take just a tiny amount at night and then your your body will, because it's blocking, it's really interesting, it, it blocks the, the, endorphin receptors in your body or your brain or something for just a little bit of time so your body makes more. And this is making me think, oh, maybe this is why exercise is such a panacea. Like I've been trying to get more cardiovascular exercise and I do feel great like when I do it. <laughs> Doing like long, you know, spin classes like I used to do before the pandemic. Just like, you know, just like some exercise you feel like, oh, I'm panting and you feel really good. But there's so many other benefits that increasing your endorphins creates in your body. And so this drug kind of mimics that or creates that in your body, just a tiny, tiny amount. In fact, you want to take it a very, very small, like point zero, point below a milligram. I can't remember, but people titrate up and then see how it affects them and see if it's helping with their issues. For people with huge pain issues, autoimmune issues, multiple sclerosis, it's used for Crohn's disease, all these gut issues, like it's amazing and just inflammation. So even just looking at it for fertility, people are taking it for, I mean, if you have all those issues, it's hard, to, you know, for your body to get pregnant, but there's a lot of other, there's so many things, you guys, you gotta check it out. Anyways, I'm a little bit obsessed. This is the most recent obsession. And I was remembering like, oh, my grandmother, Years ago, I think it was partly when my grandfather was going through cancer treatments, which he lived for 10 years of liver cancer, doing all things like the, um, the, all sorts of treatments, really all sorts of treatments, but the, oh, I'm forgetting what it's called. I did a video on it once. Anyways, if you have to inject it, it comes from um, mistletoe, I forgot the name of it, Iscador. He was doing that along with all, you know, chemo and, and the like, but usually people don't live a decade with that, but he did all sorts of things. I think that's when she was talking about it. It's amazing. So that's the latest, but it's interesting because it's just a tiny, tiny amount. It really doesn't have the type of effects that, hello dear. I'm talking about the latest curiosity low dose naltrexo and how it works is very interesting. And I will, hey dub eyes, fancy seeing you. I haven't seen you here. I love all the hand gestures. I like this one the best. Rock on. <laughs> Anyways, I, I, if you guys, if anybody here has chronic pain or inflammation and in, inflammatory issue or an autoimmune issue I would definitely look into it just look around on peace how you doing my goodness lovely to see you have you guys heard 
of low-dose naltrexone. I, I'll link to some videos because like my hip is chic today. I got some, I, I kind of went on an Etsy earring because I always wear the same earrings, but I really like this type of shape. But I branched out a little bit, branching out. <laughs> Slightly. Anyways, very much, I, I think you guys should look into it. It's just so curious how it works. I was recommended for fibromyalgia. Oh yes, exactly. Have you tried it? Yes, fibromyalgia. And it's very low, like I think low. Thank you. Totally gypsy. Tie dye. I feel like a gypsy. Yes, so low dose, low, so like originally it's you can use between 50 and 150 for the opioid addiction. That's because it works on that mechanism in your brain. Thank you. Etsy, you guys. I went on an Etsy chaos. The, the other two I have I got that I had, I got at like a very cheap store like a decade ago. They were like $2. And Etsy, these were definitely under $10. I'll link to them as well. Earrings. The video that was very interesting about Lotus and Trexon. And that's it. I will do that shortly. I'll try to get after my last flare, I decided to get some daughter about it. I think you should. Definitely. Okay, I'm going to go link to those, you guys. I love you! You've got to check it out. I will have to do a video about it. Okay, I gotta go! I love you guys! Bye!